All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome back. We're in the office and we're playing music, so I'm gonna walk to the back so we don't get copyright strikes. But it is the official week of the grand opening of the office, even though we've been in the office for, what, five months? But we finally have it kind of done and organized and we were organizing when we would uh, do the grand opening and we finally got everything complete. So we're having our annual ribbon cutting with our Chamber of Converse. So they're gonna come, we're gonna set up a ribbon, we're gonna cut it today during noon and then tomorrow night we're gonna throw a party, we're gonna transform this whole backspace into a party spot. It's gonna be the bar right here. So we're gonna pipe and drape off the whole entire room. We're gonna bring the DJ setup that's back there or up front, we're gonna move it back here. We're gonna set up some movers, we're gonna hang some tubes from the ceiling. We learned that you can hang the 362 via magnets from the ceilings. They have eye bolts and you can hang them. We're gonna mess around with that. We got our two 85 inch TVs that are brand new. We're gonna set those up as well to show off. We basically invited all the vendors and the people we work with on the regular, some of the community members, um, to come. So we'll have probably 20 to 40 people tomorrow. We got a caterer coming, a bartender, but today is the ribbon cutting. We didn't bother to hide anything today because we want the people that are coming or more. The mayor's assistant is coming and some additional people, the Chamber of Commerce, of course, and we want to show them, you know, what our operations look like, what we've been doing. Stuff is crazy though with all the stuff in the back. This is all the stock we got left for both lighting. We literally have gone through probably half of our stock already. So we're already trying to figure out how we can get more stock. And all that pallet right there is going to Midwest. And that's going to Midwest. So a little plug, if you're going to Midwest, DJ's live at the end of April here, we're gonna have stock for sale at the show. I'm gonna to go to Costco though right now to buy some wine. Hannah got to get her cameo. We hang some stars in here too. We brought Burfa up here. Burfa just got an upgrade. Rain 12 MK2s, DJ MS7 now. All set, ready to go. We got a Maui 28 up here. We're playing off a Sonos speaker right now though. So, we back from Costco, went ahead and picked up the wine for tomorrow night's party. Check it out though. This is the front of the building if you guys have never seen our office and the team been decorating and going crazy. Literally, you saw it right before we left. Now we got balloons. We got the DJ show out in the building. They already know what it is. Let's make it happen, we out here. I didn't even expect them to use the tubes, but they put tubes everywhere. Up lights everywhere. The food arrived. I'm not sure how I feel about those being blue. <laughs> I was curious about the same thing when I picked them up. They're like kind of, they're almost like a green color to some degree. It might throw people off. They look like they're the best ones there though, honestly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Coffee, Co cash, no, I can't. cash money. <laughs> <Your logo. laughs> oh, you put your logo on the slayers. Look at the uplights. Uplights just change the vibe so much. I love uplights. Look at this place. Look at this place. We set up the putter ball in the back. They started to put a TV together, but I told them don't worry about it. Well, that's for tomorrow. I'll film some clips um, periodically today. I'm um, gonna go through a little bit of the setup stuff that we're gonna work on for the actual TVs and stuff. Show you guys how we mount TVs. They're using the smaller totems. I kinda wanna use the bigger ones. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. All right. Um, well, thank everybody for coming here to our first official location that we've ever had in the business. Um, I'm Rick, I'm the owner of the company. I'll let everybody introduce themselves and I'll talk a little bit about our four brands or companies that are actually under this and go from there. So, Hannah. Um, hi everyone, I'm Hannah. Um, so I run Fusion Sound and Lighting, which is the division of the business that handles mostly weddings, corporate events, school dances, all the above. I'm Marcellus, I run our Bulk Lighting USA division. Uh, that's pretty much all the lighting you see here. We sell lighting to DJs all around the world. My name is Alyssa. Um, I oversee our Greensboro Holiday Lights, and then our newest venture, Greensboro Home Services. So that's pretty much your exterior holiday lights. Um, most of the pictures that you're seeing on this slideshows, well, all of them, that's us, yeah. And then the home services, it is better and window cleaning. So we're really excited. And also, thank you guys so much for coming. So the company all started with Fusion. I've been a DJ for 11 years. Back, I was in Ohio originally. That's where all three of us are actually from Ohio. Um, but in 2018, I moved down here for an engineering after college, and I started Fusion um, practically with this guy right here, uh, Marcellus. And he was coming down, doing events with me. We basically built the company up through 2018 into 2020. And then 2021, the Holiday Lights was a spinoff off of Fusion. We had a client that wanted Holiday Lights and went down the rabbit hole and found that that's a business model and no one was doing it in Greensboro, so we started doing it. Um, and then the home service is an expansion off of the Holiday Lights to give um, our awesome guys back there something to do year round. 
so that they can make it a full-time job and a career. And then Boat Flighting also was a spinoff of kind of the DJ company and uh, my influence side, which I won't go into too much detail, but basically I was a YouTuber started in 2015 and now I have a little over 60,000 followers on YouTube in terms of DJs. Um, I go speak at conferences and educate DJs and hopefully this year I'm going to launch a whole coaching thing where I start coaching and mentoring other DJs. Not to skip out, Jordan here, <laughs> Kylie is one of our DJs. Yeah, I'm just a uh, headline of DJ. <laughs> <laughs> I also help out uh, Marcellus with both lighting. He was was say, yeah. He's also working into a warehouse sort of manager, help with repairs on the both lighting side too. So it's kind of our little core team here. And then you got Jake and Josh in the back, our guys cleaning windows and gutters and holiday lights year round. So since we're inside, I'm going to go ahead and present you with your certificate of congratulations. Oh, yes. yes. Here you go. Let me unlock my, my baby girl real quick. <laughs> One moment, please. We're going to smile and take. We're going to smile. Okay. Smile and take. Look. <laughs> I just want you guys to know, as you already know, when I met you, I was like, okay, this guy has got to be young, number one. But that, well, I'm not much older than you, but I'm much older. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I am just, the progress, like even the conversation that we just had, like so much is happening. And I think it's just because you all love what you do. You are invested in what you're doing. You're trying to give back. You're trying to just be, just kind of like dominate in a way. And I love that about you guys. Um, so please know that I'm always here to support you. Our team is always here to support you if you need anything. Alyssa knows. She has found me. So, <laughs> so if you need me, I'm here all the time for me to come in, think, you know, whatever. Whatever you guys have need of, I'm here to support you in any capacity, as well as the chamber. So, okay, let's go cut this ribbon. Awesome. Woo! I believe the last clips was up there on top of that fridge looking at everyone and the DJ booth was here and we were doing the whole event. I probably had some clips from the ribbon cutting we did out front. Awesome words spoke by everybody. We're transitioning the room now for tomorrow. Our caterer wanted some pipe and drape right here so I'm working on that. They wanted to block this off so they can use it like a kitchen. Food's gonna be up here. We're gonna have the tubes and stuff. Might have some beast to bring us a bistro lighting tables as well. They're bistro tables. Out back here, I've started to frame out where all the pipe and drapes gonna go. We got our bar situation and our 85 inch TVs. These things are insane. So I measured it. That's six foot three across and like four foot tall. And we got two of them. We're doing an event next week with these, so we're getting them set up and working. Set the DJ booth up there, just one speaker behind, nothing crazy. We're running all fiber optic HDMI cords back here to HDMI splitter. So you got an input, which is gonna be a Google Chromecast for our event, HDMI outputs, pretty dope. It's actually gonna do four at once if we wanted to. I'm just casting some uh, YouTube up there. We're gonna play some March Madness basketball up there tomorrow night. I can't remember who, who all's playing, but I think it's the last of the Sweet 16 tomorrow night. We also put some movers up top. We're gonna be hanging tubes from the ceiling, getting this charged up right there. We got up lighting charging too. I need to get some pin spots charging as well. Pretty cool. Everyone else left, they've been helping me. Um, but now I'm kind of just by myself finishing up some minor wiring and stuff. But. All right, next day we're on Friday. Been in the office doing a few little things. Just loaded up the truck with all the stuff I need for the day. We're about to pull up to UPS so I can drop off a package and then we're heading to the office right after that. Here's our package. This is actually my robot lawnmower, my used one. Uh, I uh, sold the this one on eBay. This is the first generation and I bought a brand new one. It's at the house. Highly recommend it. Love the robot lawnmower. Saves you time. Also, you don't have to pay someone to do it. It's worth every bit of the two grand that it cost. Uh. <laughs> the lady in there is, you're, you're lucky. I'm like, what? <laughs> Why am I lucky? Apparently there's a weight threshold where if it's over the weight threshold, I have to take it to like the UPS hub, you know, where like they have all the freight and everything going through. And it was just shy. I'm guessing because it's, oh wow, 64 pounds is what it came in at. Apparently 65 must be the cutoff. She just didn't want to handle it. That is slightly concerning though, because I had to do a little routing because I got to stop at FedEx now on the way to the office so that I can drop off the SKB case to get returned to Sweetwater. Whole little thing. SKB, SKB case. <sighs> yeah, this is a, this is the SKB case. I'm returning it to Sweetwater because I ordered the wrong size. I was trying to get some cases for our new projectors and I ordered the wrong size, but my, uh, my rep Ben over there at Sweetwater, he's getting me the return. Um, so returning both of them, getting two brand new ones that are the right size. Gonna go give that the FedEx and then we're off to the office. Do any of you guys also just hate the nuances of having to go 
all these little tiny places throughout the week to do things. That's why I love Amazon. I order something, it comes to my door. I love Walmart Plus. I order my groceries, they show up at my door. I don't have to leave the house. I don't have to have wasted time driving to and from places. Maybe that's just my business time productivity mindset, but I hate wasting time in doing anything. Every minute means so much in my head and every hour, and if I have to drive and spend an extra 30 minutes to go drop off a couple packages, it is annoying to me because I could do so much in 30 minutes. I don't know, maybe that's my OCD. Whatever, we're gonna be at the office. So as far as being different in the office today, the only thing that changed was all the framing for the pipe and drape went up. I didn't film anything, but I went ahead and got our live streaming set up for the both lighting slash my channel setup showdown live stream. Where basically we're gonna be showing everybody the setups that people submitted. Uh, we're gonna vote on them. So I have my, this is my old DJ laptop, which is now my dedicated streaming laptop. It's pretty simple, honestly, to do it. So I have an Elgato right here, HD 60S. And that is capturing the camera feed from that Canon G7X right there. And then we use the Zoom H6 for all of our audio. And we're just gonna run our two wireless mics that are in the dedicated audio rack that we run everywhere. So we're just gonna pull the audio off of that and be good to go. This is gonna be our backdrop. We're gonna put some black pipe and drape up. We're not gonna feed any audio in on this stream. Maybe we'll, I don't know. I have to see what the setup's like. But for the most part, this is everything. We're gonna put some graphics up on the TVs. We got all the drapery right here to go up. I'm gonna get the guys to do that. Right now I gotta go to the rental place to pick up uh, a lawn aerator because tomorrow I'm going to work on aerating and overseeding my lawn because that's my hobby. My hobby is my lawn. What's your guys' hobbies? I love doing lawn care. Um, bar set up for tonight. Just a wine and beer bar. Very simple. And then they brought some cocktail tables and uh, we set up this front area here. Pipe and draped off a back little area for the caterers. And then they set up all this amazing levels and craziness uh it's exclamations exclamations catering they do awesome work and this is the table we built we're gonna paint the legs eventually black but right now or stain them black right now let them dry out but just plopped a butcher block countertop on top pretty cool all right right there got the aerator in the back all set about to go set up the final little bit for the live stream at two o'clock. Maybe I'll film a little clips from it. Then we got the party tonight, and then we got events tomorrow. Next weekend though, man, man, next week there's like eight events. Next week's the kickoff of spring season, baby. That thing is about to get nuts. I didn't grab any video of the stream. We were rushing. But uh, we getting ready for uh, the party now. <laughs> Cleaning up the stream stuff, getting the tubes ready. We're gonna hang tubes from the ceiling, all fun stuff here in a bit. <laughs> Those are so good. The event's over at this point. We just have a bunch of friends left in the back. Uh, we had a great turnout. Lots of vendors came through, lots of coordinators came through. Excited for some, we had some feedback on like the next one we want to throw. But it all worked out great. I mean, look. A little bit of the setup now after all the food, they, the caterers knocked out of the park, tore it all down. Good to go. We did do some pin spotting. It's so nice having your own facility to be able to do this stuff and test out things like we, I didn't even show this. We uh, we put magnets and hung the tubes from the drop ceiling. There's that. And then of course we had the tubes in the ceiling, the six of them. We got the NC State Marquette game on. The DJ MS7 has a Bluetooth feature. So we're just Bluetoothing some music to it because you know no one wants to DJ right now. Yeah, pretty dope. And for you guys wondering how you mount these, this is literally a home wall bracket for a TV. Just O-clamps, two O-clamps through the mount, and then uh, you just mount it like a normal TV would be on the wall, except it's on truss. Look at my sign. Hannah wants her sign. Isn't she made a so bar cute? sign. So I never ended up wrapping up this video, so I'm filming it after the fact. And let me just say, you know, it was a shorter video to some degree, but it was a very meaningful documentation video for like just the journey and if you guys are have been on this journey with me I want you guys to comment down below how when was the first video you watched of mine if you guys are watching also push hashtag squad in the comments down below but I want to know how long have you guys been watching my channel if you're an OG you're probably all the way back in 2015 but comment down below what was the first video you watched and when was it that you can recall because I'm curious to know how many of you guys have been here 
on this long ride. I mean, I just said 2015. I'm coming up next year is gonna be 10 years of constant posting on YouTube. I've been doing YouTube videos for longer than that. I think my first video ever is like 2010. 2008 probably on some other variety of channels if you guys want to go on a little YouTube hunt you might be able to find them um, there's a channel out there called Bobcat Productions it might have some trick shot videos on there if you can find it now this has been a long YouTube grind um, for almost 10 years now and we're at 60 something thousand subscribers which is insane for the DJ community and I appreciate every single one of you guys and this whole like getting our first space ribbon cutting having a party to celebrate it, having the space now to throw these events and these parties. This was a nice beta test, or we're planning to roll out some more here in the future. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like the video, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed because you should be on this journey with us. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Big, uh, big gig log week of coming next video. Peace.